Hi, I'm Jessica from Jessica Wanders, and this is week number five of my January pantry challenge, which means it's actually my February pantry challenge. If you're new here, I'll leave a link in the description below and maybe a card up here that you can click on and see uh, the entire pantry challenge series. Um, so yeah, here we are week five. Let's get started. <laughs> Good morning. I'm cooking stuff for breakfast. I've taken four eggs. I'm just gonna scramble them. I had the bacon in the fridge and I'm frying up half of it. So we're having bacon and eggs. Then I've got my homemade bread cut in half because they're huge pieces, um, toasted and with some jam. I'm cooking bacon, <laughs> but I also have this bacon grease from in the fridge that has to get used up pretty quick. And I'm going to fry my eggs in it. The toast and we're gonna use up the last of this uh, zucchini bread jam, and then I open another crab apple jelly. For lunch today, I am going to make up a pasta. S. Martin, just an hour ago, suggested that I make for some pasta. That's a brilliant idea. I never feel like doing too much cooking on the day where my other video drops. <laughs> so this is super easy. Plus my husband just fixed, pulled out the whole stove and replaced the knob. So, or the burner switch in behind there. So hopefully this burner stops acting up. Anyway, I'm gonna make borsom cheese pasta. I'm gonna use some of these garlic cheese chives that I had in the freezer, some milk, some butter, and a little bit of the sausage, probably just this piece of sausage. Great idea, S. Martin. Here's all my pasta. Pasta, 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 pasta. This is what's left of the borsom cheese. Pretty, getting pretty dried out. We're gonna just dump it all in. And add some milk. I'm gonna add some pepper to this. It's turning into a nice little sauce. Just waiting for the cheese to finish melting. Yeah, it smells really good. Mm -hmm. Add some pasta water to this sauce. See if it thickens it up. fast lunch. Here's two bowls for lunch. It looks really good. It smells really good. I'm going to give it a try. It's a really fast way to make that kind of cheesy, creamy pasta sauce. If you have borsong cheese and the sausage is really tasty in there too. Thumbs up for me. Borsong cheese pasta. For a couple of lunches this week, I'm going to make like a sausage um, soup, sausage bean soup. Uh, I've got carrots, and some potatoes. Oh, a sausage and kale soup. This is a dehydrated kale that I grew this year and then I dehydrated it. I throw a bunch in the soup. I've got brought up another can of these crushed tomatoes that have to get used. And then some beef, beef broth, some bay leaves, and some other spices, probably salt and pepper, onions. I cooked up these beans. These are just the beans from inside some green beans that got really old and dried out on the vine. Maybe like half the beef broth. So what I'm using up in this recipe, some more tomatoes, some beans I'm gonna put in, and of course carrots from the fridge. So those are our potatoes and our carrots, and these are some type of bean from the garden. And this kale that I dehydrated in my dehydrator. More kale. <laughs> Said not me usually. It grew so well though. And actually this particular kind I didn't mind the flavor of. So there you go. See if the flavors all come together into something amazing. And if, I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. I might even add some hot chili flakes. I'm gonna add all these beans actually. You can hardly tell they're in there. About a half a cup of beans from the cupboard. So I have this red hot sauce. 
and it's the taste is kind of like a ketchupy seafoody sauce taste and it's but it's quite spicy and I think I'm gonna add some to this sausage kale soup because it could use a little bit of heat and I want to start using up this red hot sauce and I just want to spice up my soup a little bit the soup is starting to smell pretty good I'm gonna have this with some of that bread that I made and I might put some sour cream on top I don't know about this kale in here there's some kale I'm gonna try a bite with kale. The kale goes actually really nicely with the sausage. So there you go. And the beans are okay. They're just pretty much not very strong flavor beans. So yeah, I would make sausage kale bean soup again. Thumbs up from me. Sprouts are done. Just gonna dump them out and rinse them. So I rinse these out. It looks like a lot of sprouts. Just gonna let them dry and then store them in the fridge. For dinner tonight, I uh, soaked and then cooked these black beans. Maybe about uh, like a half a half a cup of black beans, um, maybe three quarters of a cup. I got these two little things of corn from the pantry. I got a new salsa from the pantry. I got this sour cream and this cheese mozzarella cheese from the freezer, and these uh, flour tortillas. And I'm gonna make black bean and corn quesadillas for dinner. So I opened both these cans of corn, but I think I only need one can of corn in this mixture. Put the other one in the fridge. I'm just gonna spread some of this black bean corn mixture around. Then I'm gonna try and glue it with the cheese. That's my plan. Okay, I'm not going to try and flip this whole quesadilla. First, I just slide it out of the pan onto a plate, and then I flip them. And then I try to carefully put it back in, in the pan again so that I don't make a mess. <laughs> more than enough to make two more quesad uh, quesadillas tomorrow. I just didn't feel like making them in advance, so all the stuff is ready. Quesadillas for dinner. Well, we're gonna load them up with salsa and sour cream to dip. I mean, quesadillas are good. This salsa is the newest salsa that I made. And actually it's okay. It's been like maybe six months since I made it, five months. And it's pretty good. It's a little spicier than I normally make it, but it's good. Mm. So it's just really a review of my salsa because it's just a quesadilla with cheese. The more cheese, the better, I say. So, this is really good. Good morning. This morning, I am going to try making a pumpkin uh, rice pudding, like a pump with pumpkin spices. I'm gonna use, obviously, rice, um, pumpkin, not all of this pumpkin. So, I'm gonna take some out, mash it up, use it for this, an egg, some milk, uh, vanilla, brown sugar, regular sugar. Um, I've got ginger and nutmeg and cinnamon and a little bit of salt. And we're gonna do it all up and make a nice rice pudding for breakfast. I'm just gonna cook the rice up. My milk that I reconstitute from the evaporated milk. I mean, it's pretty thick, but it's not cream, that's for sure. But it's gonna have to do. And the sugar. Stir in the egg. Follow the instructions on the recipe and I don't like them because you add the egg directly into the pudding some of the egg cooks see cooked egg rather than mixing in and I would have taken some of the liquid out let it cool and then mix the egg together and then added it back in but this recipe is just wrong so the eggs not really going to fit 
taken the pudding properly because it's cooked now. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna add about three quarters a teaspoon of cinnamon, heaping quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon of ginger, tablespoons of brown sugar. Because that egg didn't really work out so well, I added some liquid from here into another egg, and I'm just gonna make sure that I mix it in as I go because otherwise it's not going to really thicken up because I've got cooking <laughs> the egg just cooked before I don't know hopefully it doesn't just turn into more cooked egg and it thickens it up properly I'm gonna add some vanilla it's just not as thick as I'd like it to be probably because I didn't use full half and half milk so this is sort of the consistency you're supposed to add more milk at this point it's pretty watery. It's not super thick. I would say it smells wonderful. It smells like pumpkin spice. Like it smells like the flavors are gonna be really good. So I cooled down on the rice pudding a little bit. Obviously it's weird that it has a little bit of cooked egg in it, but it did thicken up as it cooled. So that's good. It smells wonderful. It smells like pumpkin pie. Mm. And the rice is cooked nicely and it tastes like pumpkin pie. So you could put syrup on this or maybe a little more cinnamon. That's super yummy. Like um, I would just do the egg properly next time, obviously. Pumpkin spice rice pudding. Do these black, black bean and corn quesadillas again. It's really easy. Just fry them up in the frying pan and put the corn and the cheese. The cheese are already grated. So it should be fast. Just like a repeat of yesterday, the more cheese, the better. And okay, now in here, I saw some, some shrimp. make something out of that. For dinner tonight, I'm gonna try to use up some more of this red hot sauce. A couple of these garlic things from Papa John's Pizza that were in the fridge. A couple of those, fry up some shrimp. So I got a garlic shrimp in some garlic and onion. Um, and then I'm gonna make up this couscous to put, it, to put it on with the beef broth and some mixed frozen veggies and uh, maybe just drizzle the hot sauce shrimp on couscous for dinner for two people. I've never actually used these garlic sauces, but they seem exactly like garlic butter. So I'm gonna to try to fry the onions and the garlic and the shrimp in this garlic butter. I'm just gonna warm up the frozen vegetables with the beef broth before I add the couscous. It looks really beautiful and it smells amazing too. The couscous absorbed all that beef broth. I'm excited. Okay, I'm gonna put it on plates. Just putting the red hot sauce on. Doesn't quite drizzle the way I want it to. Couscous just makes everything look fancy. But it's so easy, you just put it in and it's done in five minutes. This kind of turned out better than I thought it was going to. <laughs> it looks better than I thought. So using up that couscous, I'm trying to use up the couscous in the cupboard. Mmm. Um. Mmm. I mean, shrimp is good. And this red hot sauce in the cupboard too. So I think that did both things. 
in one meal. This is really good. I like the couscous cooked in the beef broth because it gives it a little more flavor. I think I could have used more of those garlic pack or garlic sauce packets because there's just not enough garlic flavor. Spicy shrimp with the sauce on couscous. Yeah, it's really good. Thumbs up for me. Good morning. I am just going to have this leftover pumpkin rice pudding for breakfast. It smells really good. I think the rice even absorbed more of the liquid in the fridge. For leftover lunch, I'm gonna use up this small amount of soup. I have this corn leftover from the bean and corn quesadillas. I'm gonna to add to the soup. This is the leftover bread. I'm gonna add some of this garlic butter and some Parmesan and some Italian seasoning. Garlic bread just for a quick leftover lunch. Put some of the corn in there. I don't think I want all the corn in there. So I'm trying to use up these garlic butter sauces. I think it should be good on these toasts. It smells really garlicky. Just a little bit of Italian seasoning on here. And then I'll put some Parmesan cheese. I put some more of this red hot sauce in this soup. I don't know how it'll be, but I'm just trying to keep using this up in a variety of different ways. <laughs> and I have a tiny bit of this beef broth left and I'm just gonna dump it in. It's maybe like less than maybe a quarter cup. Get it out of the fridge. I'm gonna make up some of this strawberry lemonade to go with lunch. Here we go, is a quick leftover lunch with some juice and some quick use it up garlic bread. I'm doing a recipe that calls for bacon lardons. I didn't know what that was, but you just have to cut the bacon into little small pieces and fry it up. So you're just left with pieces like, like that. A whole bunch of pieces like that. This isn't the finest cut of bacon, so I'm not sure how it's gonna go. Lots of smaller pieces of bacon that we're gonna fry up. I don't know if you can see the snow coming down. Yeah, I think you can. Anyway, we're gonna carry on with our theme today, which is leftover um, Thursday. <laughs> um, this is all still pumpkin rice pudding for dessert. We've got this uh, spicy shrimp with couscous. I'm gonna mix in the rest of this corn. Today I did buy at just at the corner store. It was a little too expensive, but saved a drive into town. This two liter, or yeah, two liter of 2% milk. If we felt like having something else after dinner, we could just have some cereal or something. Well, I know you guys got a bunch of snow Midwest and the East Coast. It's not too cold here, but we did get some snow last night. Maybe about eight inches of snow. I think, look at the birdhouse it's got covered. It's got quite a roof on it. Anyway, it looks very fluffy. So I just spent a whole bunch of time this morning, this morning um, shoveling snow and I'm not thinking really clearly and I'm totally exhausted, but I've got some stuff and I'm going to make soup out of it. Maybe I can make some pea soup with sidekicks. I'm going to boil these, add some pumpkin, kind of blend it up and then add the sidekicks and I hope that it'll be okay to eat with some crackers maybe. As it could be horrible, I think that right now if it was warm I would be happy <laughs> so so we'll give it a try I think it can't possibly be that bad just trying to get rid of some more pumpkin more pumpkin I'm just gonna hide it I'm just gonna hide it in there no one will ever know how will they know some salt and pepper and just some water just gonna blend it up <laughs> I think that the pea soup will go, maybe it'll go okay with this cheddar and broccoli. I'm gonna add some margarine, or butter actually. It tastes just like broccoli 
and pea. That's not bad. I think it'll be good with crackers. Got a couple of these toppable crackers to put on top. Mm. It's not bad. It's a little bit. I shouldn't have added any salt at all because it's pretty salty. The flavor is okay. And you can barely taste the broccoli, but it does taste a lot like, like pea soup. Possibly all about using the sidekicks as soup. This is like revolutionary. I um, wonder how many different kinds of soups I could make with sidekicks now. For lunch today, I wanted something super easy. I don't know. It's many days of me not feeling motivated. It happens. I've been trying new kinds of instant noodles. So we're going to do up two of them. Cook the noodles. And they come with packages of stuff. Fried onion. And you're supposed to mix all of these packages of stuff in your bowl and then add your drained noodles to it. Hopefully they came from my pantry downstairs, so there you go. Use up some more of that red hot sauce. Stir it up. There we go. Just one serving of yummy noodles. They're pretty good. They, they smell like onions. Yeah, they're pretty flavorful. I'd uh, add some mixed vegetables to that or an egg on top. More spicy than regular Itchy Ban or Mr. Noodles. You know what we're gonna have for dinner tonight? More pumpkin. <laughs> uh, there's more pumpkin. It might've been a while ago, but uh, this recipe was suggested by Mama Bear 68 Thank you for the suggestion of pumpkin pasta. I am actually out of milk in the pantry, the milk that I wanted to use up. Yay! I do still have milk downstairs in my main big pantry. I'm gonna use this. Um, butter, garlic, pepper, nutmeg, chili powder, cayenne, like a spicy pumpkin pasta. I'm going to use fettuccine chicken broth for the sauce and uh, let's see how it turns out. Again, thanks to Mama Bear 68 for the suggestion. Smells wonderful with garlic and butter. It smells great. I'm going to add the pumpkin puree. Nutmeg. Quarter teaspoon of chili powder. I've never tried this particular recipe before, so this will be a learning experience for all of us. And some pepper. Smells very garlicky and that chili powder, really spicy, cayenne, not sweet though, definitely a spicy pumpkin. There we go, I don't think you can tell just how orange it looks, but we covered it all. I'm going to put it on plates and put some parmesan and some peppers on it. Nutmeg, I think, adds something to it. And then the chili powder and very garlicky. It's very, it smells very garlicky. Let's see what it looks like. And put some Parmesan cheese on top. It looks really one color, but it smells really flavorful. Even though it all just looks like yellowy orange. Mm. I'm just trying it. And it tastes really good. I think that I could have possibly added a little more salt and pepper. When you eat it with the Parmesan cheese, it's not too bad because the Parmesan cheese is pretty salty. So it's pumpkin-y, but it's still, it's really garlicky too. And it has a lot of other flavors. Using up more pumpkin. What do you think of the pumpkin pasta? Yeah, this is awesome. This is awesome. It's really good. It's really good.
It could have handled a, a more cayenne, a more spicy. Maybe some chili flakes would would be okay there. I like it on the fettuccine too, but you could do it on any kind of pastas. Good morning. It is morning, but I'm already uh, planning dinner because it's, I'm gonna put this all in the slow cooker before I even get started with the day. Uh, today I'm making a recipe called Normandy pork. I've never made it before, um, but it looked pretty good. I've got this cut up pork loin that I'm gonna use pork with apples, right? So um, got apple cider vinegar to mix with this apple juice. We have some apples. I thought that my husband had taken these to work. So they've been in there like literally a month, kind of shrivelly. I'm gonna use up a couple of these apples in this recipe as well. Um, and then we've got a uh, giant carrot, onion, chicken stock, and that's the last of the chicken stock from the cupboard that I wanted to use up. The Dijon mustard, bay leaves, some thyme, this bacon that I fried up. I'll leave a link to the recipe in the description below. I think I'll serve it with some mashed potatoes. I got Brussels sprouts I could do. That's gonna go into the slow cooker this morning. tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Another 100 milliliters of water, which is just under half a cup. I already fried up the bacon and then we add the apple cider vinegar, apple juice mixture. Oh, that smells great. Uh, I love apple cider vinegar. And I think it's gonna be good. Apple goes so well with pork, right? Bay leaf. Hey, I cleaned the camera lens. <laughs> so a lot of stuff going on in the background. I'm gonna add this chicken bouillon cube. I'm gonna add 400 milliliters of water. It's like almost two cups maybe. One and three quarter cups. Just gonna make sure all the spices and everything are in there. Apple bits are in there. I'm gonna put it on low and we're gonna cook it for eight hours. So cooker just cost me like $20 from London Drugs. It doesn't seal very well, so I just put paper towel between the lid and the pot and it works just fine. For breakfast, I'm gonna to continue to use up these uh, pancake mix that I'm using up. I've got, this is my last little bit of banana that I had in the freezer. I'm not sure if you'll be able to taste it, this amount of banana in like um, this much pancake mix, but I'm gonna add it anyway. Just following the package directions. One cup of mix to three quarters a cup of water. Banana that I kind of mashed up. I don't know if you were following about my burner being broken. Anyway, we ordered a new part online that switch for the burner in the back and uh, my husband replaced it and it seems to be working. So we're gonna order another switch for the other large burner on the stove. So I'm so happy that we don't have to go out and buy another stove. I'm happy because it seems to be working. I can adjust the temperature on the burner. $150 part, still expensive, but cheaper, cheaper than the alternative. It's not hot enough where before it was too hot. I 
okay after I did it for about seven hours and this is what the stew kind of looks like I have to add sour cream and also some mustard but first before I forget I'm gonna take the bay leaf out of here and I thought I was gonna be able to use this Dijon mustard from the cupboard but when I looked harder in the fridge I found this Dijon mustard that I still have to use up and then uh, sour cream goes in I'm gonna whip up these mashed potatoes and I found some Brussels sprouts And I'm gonna add some chili flakes as well. Some garlic powder. All right, we've got some mashed potatoes. And some of this Normandy pork, which looks really good. Kind of made its own gravy. Oh, it smells really good, really honey mustardy. pretty good meal. I'll have to tomorrow make uh, some more mashed potatoes. That is a huge meal. I don't even know if I'll finish that and what I don't finish probably my husband will eat. A lot of this pork, kind of like a pork stew left over for tomorrow. It smelled kind of vinegary when I was cooking it because of the apple cider vinegar I think. Mm. Oh it's a good flavor. Oh very kind of apple-y in there too. How's the meat? Nothing wrong with that. The pork just falls apart, of course. I like this. I thought it was going to be too kind of vinegary, but it all works really well together. And when you add the cream from the mustard at the end, it kind of cuts that down a bit. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up for me. I'm so happy about having fresh milk. I'm just going to have cereal for breakfast. For lunch today, I'm going to do up some cheeseburger wraps. I have these burrito shells, um, mozzarella cheese. Uh, I'm gonna open another of these bread and butter pickles. I went through the first one. I've got another one downstairs that's past its best before date. I'm gonna fry that ground beef in uh, ketchup and mustard. And then I'm going to put Thousand Island dressing on the burrito shells. I don't have any lettuce, but I'm gonna use these sprouts to give it a little bit of a crunch. Hopefully it tastes like a matzo burger. <laughs> I don't know. I'll add some bacon fat to it. Maybe it'll maybe it'll taste like a bacon matzo burger. <laughs> Salt and pepper. Some onion powder. Get an oniony taste. Okay, this is definitely smelling like a hamburger. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta make a hamburger out of whatever you have because you just really, really want a hamburger. This is gonna work. supposed to put the Thousand Island on underneath, but here it's going on here. I try adding sprouts. Um, I don't know how they'll be, but it'll be a little bit of greenery. Why not, hey? It's not lettuce, but it'll do. Well, you can't see, but inside there's amazing um, cheeseburger, matzo burger wrap. <laughs> I think it's gonna be good. The sprouts aren't terrible in it. I could have used even a little more ketchup maybe, but other than that, it tastes like a hamburger in a wrap, which is pretty good. Hey, this is what is left in the fridge freezer. We still got some spinach, some chives, Two packs of cherries, still this bread and chicken carcass broth here, pumpkin, zucchini, ground beef, this lean ground pork from a HelloFresh meal, and I don't know which HelloFresh meal, some giblets, lots of shredded carrots, a couple packs of tortillas, and then the egg roll wrappers. Nothing else, I feel like this freezer has more empty space in it. A lot of like ground pork, there's some chicken way down there. 
and still a lot of vegetables. Lots of butter, still some of that crab meat left. Just wanted to video all the empty jars. <laughs> these are candy canes I got off the Christmas tree and I still have a couple left. But these are all the jars, the empty jars of the things that I have used up from the pantry. It's awesome. <laughs> this is the dark downstairs fridge freezer. Here I still have ground cherries, lots of peppers, a ham and a turkey, and some chickens, whole chickens. This is the pantry of stuff that I wanted to use up and actually it's looking pretty amazing. Just a couple things of apple juice, some flour and rice, two things, two of pumpkin, some beans, instant pancake powder, this half thing of couscous, one thing of beef broth, um, molasses is hard to use up quickly, a couple of things still of salad dressings, jello, lots of jam still. These are all beans and this Dijon. Two things of barbecue sauce, one thing of this uh, Thai hot and sweet dip. Just three packages of the sidekicks, a couple things of gravy mix, and lots of sprouts still. Don't forget to give it a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to see more videos from me. Check out the join button and become a member if you like to get sneak peeks and other perks. I'll leave links to the entire um, pantry challenge playlist as well as last week's video so you can see what I had left over last week and what I started out with. So that's it. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here and for watching and I'll see you guys next week.